In the first episode, we set our goal as 10 fishing. This is how it started, and this is how it ended. Thanks, Jagex, but we are back for round two. This is Skill Guided. In this series, we level our account by gaining XP with our most recent skilling unlock. We can't complete a quest if the reward XP levels us up. If we unlock a new spell, we have to cast it. If we unlock new types of weapons and armor, we have to do our best to obtain and use as many as possible. So this is where today's footage kicks off. I reached level 10 fishing on our new account skill guided. I leveled up the stats to exactly where we were at the end of the last episode or would have been, except for Hunter. I will start that outside of the Chambers of Zerek. I think going in there is what got me falsely banned in the first place. A quick thank you for so much support shown for the first episode. I hope you enjoy this one. Like the video if you do and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. So I actually trained Hunter to 3 on the Isle of Souls. I've never really been here before, but I'll put this in the background while we talk about today's episode. My initial goal for today's episode was to do something that most Iron Men do when they start their account, even main accounts, and that is complete the Ardoin Easy Diary. As we'll see today, I ran into a couple of roadblocks, and I look forward to figuring out how we're going to solve them together. But there's two Hunter, baby, so let's get into the live commentary. First of all, we have to get to Ardoin, so I'm going to pull the lever and hope I don't get PK'd on the other end. The first thing I'm going to do is actually run away from Ardoin. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't like this city, get me out of here. <laughs> uh, we are going to run south to Yanil. Okay, there we go, we've got an inventory of planks. Might not need all these, might do, I don't know, but we've got them now, so that's good. Okay, so here we go, um, let's browse. Oh, easy task complete. How good is that? But there is our noose wand. Nice. Okay, we'll be able to catch the kebbits and get our hunter level up in the future. Okay, we've reached Probita. More content. Easy task complete. Woohoo! I have some fine silk from far away to sell you. Literally far away from Varrock. Uh, and a 120 coins for it, champion. Hmm. Give us 50. Nah, you'll give us 60. Come on. Oh, yes! Oh my god. Okay, this is actually big. The first time... Okay, the first time anyone's actually wanted to get the Captain Arnav random event. Now, at the time, I was really keen for Captain Arnav to give me a gold necklace for our beginner clue scroll. What would have been better is a gold bar. We are desperate to obtain gold bars to do crafting. If you know of ways we can get gold bars without obtaining XP, let me know. But listen to how excited I was. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome! Now I can finish our beginner clue scroll! <laughs> the content doesn't stop there, baby! Wizard Crompity, get me in the essence mine! Yes! Another easy task complete! There we go, we lost a prayer point. Let's pray at the altar. Beautiful! Another easy task! Okay, we've reached McGrubber's Wood, and we need these Dwellberries. So let's pick these up and hopefully not get munched by these dogs. Not scary at all. Aha! We've found our victim. Girlie's just going for a little walk around Sears Village, thinking that, you know, her pockets are safe. Not when Skill Max around. Ah. Uh, well, we got what we deserved. Do not do this in real life. Don't try this at home. Always pickpocket the guys stuck in the corner. Oh, there we go. Look at this idiot. He's literally just... Ah. Oh. That's what I get for talking shit. Yes. Yes. Yes, two thieving baby. Now, oh, no level up message. That's interesting. Because if we look at our thieving guide here, uh, level two, we have vegetable stalls. Vegetable stalls are only on the island of Miscellanea and Exeteria. The problem with that is to complete the throne of Miscellanea, you first have to complete Hero's Quest, and therefore a lot of other quests. But you'd think there'd be a way we'd be able to get around it. Wrong. One of the requirements for Hero's Quest is 53 fishing. Now to get to 53 fishing, obviously we need to progress through many levels. At level 47, we unlock Driftnet fishing on Fossil Island. So to get to 53 fishing, we'd obviously need to progress through catching shoals of fish using Driftnet fishing at 47. To get to Fossil Island, we need to complete the Bone Voyage quest. To start the Bone Voyage quest, we need to have completed the Dig Site quest. One of the requirements for the dig site is level 25 thieving. So, therefore, we cannot possibly get to the point where we thieve from a vegetable stall at 2 thieving, because we would have to have 25 thieving to get there. Okay, we actually got evicted from the pub because we were pickpocketing too many people. 
Uh, and we've broken into this guy's home. He was just trying to enjoy a nice meal of garlic and we've decided, you know what? While you eat your garlic, sir, we are going to take your money. So while we pickpocket this man for our remaining levels to five thieving, I will just say that I was a bit hesitant to put rambles like that in the episode. I know it can be a bit uh, boring for those who just want to watch the progress and don't care too much about the rules, but then there are people on the other side of that. I find the theory crafting quite interesting, but it's up to personal preference. There are going to be lots of things like this that we run into, so I'm keen to hear what you think. Yeah, five thieving, baby. There we go. You can now steal from cake stalls, tea stalls, crafting stalls, and monkey food stalls. I forgot to do something before we hit five thieving. Ardoin, Relica, and Wilderness. 13 thieving. We can thieve from chests that give 10 coins. However, you actually get thieving XP from opening the door. Pick lock. 3 XP. I want a cake. There we go. Easy task. Nice! Alright, and we did forget to do this last time as well. Wieldy lever. We're back. I'm scared. We have to, I think this is the easy task. Yes, it is. Back to Ardoin. There we go. Another easy task done. We're not dead. Uh, something in the first episode as well that I very briefly flashed on the screen was that I destroyed the antique lamp from X marks a spot. I, at the time I was like, oh god, no, I don't want to gain XP, I don't want to think about, you know, anything like that. But there's certain skills where there isn't really a level up table. Slayer, yeah, we can't really control what Slayer tasks we get. It's not like we're going to be able to only kill crawling hands. If you think I should do it on hit points instead, let me know in the comments in the future when we get a general XP lamp, like from the diaries and things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go Slayer with all of our general lamps. Oh, how dare you! I have been here, oh, this has to be over 18 months ago. I was here thieving tea on my Zaya locked Iron Man, but here we are, stealing from the tea stall. Nice, 16 XP and a nice cup of tea. And there we go, 10 thieving. You can now pickpocket from farmers. Well, yes, okay, and they give nine GP. Hoo hoo, lovely. There we go, 13 thieving. And yes, there we go. The door that we opened before, we can now steal from the chest that was inside. Door content is coming up, we just got distracted. 11, 12, 13 fishing. Yes, 15 fishing. How bloody good. Now we can try to net anchovies, collect fresh fish from Piscarilius docks, and go back to raids to catch Sufi fish. Plus, we can actually get experience from Fishing Trawler when we hop on for the Ardoin Easy Diary. Okay, so thanks to Captain Arnav, we are here with our gold necklace. So, we can finish our beginner clue scroll. So let's blow a raspberry. Yuri, hello mate. Oh my god, a casket. Okay, we've got a casket. We need a black pickaxe to progress past 11 mining. So... I don't know how this is going to work, whether we're just never going to do mining if we don't get a black pickaxe. They're pretty rare from beginner clues, but let's see if we can get one. Oh no, <laughs> yes, the steel longsword has returned from last episode. <laughs> oh wait, right click, search for traps. Disable the trap. Open. 7 XP, is that it? Alright, here we go, last time we're searching for traps, baby, at least on this chest. Woohoo! Wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a good delayed message there. 14 thieving. No message unlock. But I wasn't going to stuff up another door where it gives XP again, similar to this one here. When you pick lock, this one gives XP. If we look at our chests, at level 28 we can thieve from the nature rune chest upstairs in Ardoin. But opening the door actually gives XP as well. This apparently only takes 14 thieving. Yet I reckon I've done it about 50 times. And only got through once. I have to do this to 15. It's the only method available. <laughs> this is actually crazy. You don't need a lockpick to do it. You know what the worst part is as well? This house is where you can do things for mahogany homes. And so occasionally someone will just rock up and just enter the house and not have to pick the lock. This is insane. Get in. It's because I'm facing away. Get back here. Face the door. Face your fears. Let me in. Let me in. Yes! Oh no, I attacked the woman! Ah! No! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just gained incorrect strength XP. 
Yes, we got in. Nice. 15 XP. All right. Oh, okay, I'll be back in. Uh, I don't even know how long. All right. Thank you. Camo top. Collection log, baby. Our first collection log is a camo top. Unfortunate. But at least now we can put it on and maybe we'll blend into the surroundings and be able to get into the door easier. Okay, this took so, so long of spam clicking. This is at 20 times speed just to give you a bit of an idea, but far out. <laughs> One more bit at the door. Yes, we got it. 15 thieving. Nice. Woo. You can now pickpocket hand followers and steal cowbells from dairy cows. That is so good. Hand followers are easy. Cowbells, though, we cannot thieve until we've started the Cold War quest. 10 hunter, 30 agility, 30 crafting, 34 construction. Um, that is going to be quite difficult. Plus, we need a mahogany plank, so I'll have to work out how to get one of those. Now, if you thought I was going to complete the Plague City quest at 11 mining and ruin my account, no need to worry. I'm simply progressing as far as possible in the Plague City quest so I can finish it as soon as I get the level. And by the level, I mean I need 36 mining to complete Plague City because it rewards me with mining XP. And as I said at the start of the episode, I don't want to complete a quest that gives me enough mining XP where I'll skip a level or skip multiple unlocks. Therefore, we are currently locked out of the Ardoin Easy Diary until we get 36 mining. I am currently locked out of getting 36 mining until I get a black pickaxe because I cannot progress past 11 mining unless I get one. Is this something that you would like to see going forward with the account? There's going to be certain levels, not just for mining, it's been mentioned in the comments, things like 35 Defense for Samurai Armor, 31 Prayer for Holy Sandals and Holy Wraps. These are clue scroll locked items. I'll attempt all the methods possible and we'll explain them towards the end of the video so there's not a huge rant in the middle, but it may be something that will have to be skipped. Go, mine, mine, mine. A six, holy shit. Oh my God. Mate, calm down, holy shit. Okay, get over here. Oh my god. Oh, get expertly done. Alright, we don't have enough room left to mine another limestone rock, so we are going to now go mine a shooting star level 1. Alright, giddy up. Glyam has done the work. We can finally mine this level 1 star. There we go. Two more stardust. 11 mining. How good. Now we can't mine any further until we have a black pickaxe. There we go, 4 XP for picking the lock. Well, we had to do that to get inside anyway. Ooh, and that's an easy task in the Lumbridge area. But we need a rusted sword, and a hand member is one of the best ways to get that. Without all the theory crafting and everything aside, there's more to talk about, but I mean, let's just pickpocket a few and see what we get. Because you never know, we might get the rusted sword on the first pickpocket. It's much more likely we'll get punched in the face, but let's just see what happens. A ham logo, yeah, nice. All right, I guess we'll wear that. Why not? Oh, yes! <laughs> An uncut jade? Okay, interesting. Oh, no, we're in jail. <laughs> How do we get out of here? A cowhide? Okay, interesting. We've got a little bit of XP left to play with before we hit near 16. Ah, some polished buttons. Nice. Or some, some buttons. That's great. I don't want to click on them. Do we actually need three crafting to polish buttons? Oh, my God. We can't. We can't even polish them. Ah, uh, another bronze pickaxe. Okay, well, now we are 6 XP away from 16 thieving. Meaning that uh, we did get the rusty sword, though. That's fantastic. So that has saved us a little bit there. We can actually go and hand that in for that Arduin easy task. But the easy clue was not achieved. Uh, but we should be... Now that we have 15 fishing, we should be able to do the fishing trawler. Minigame teleport, is that correct? Yes, we can. Nice. Okay, well, that's a nice, that's an easy way to get to Arduin, kind of, if we use the Fishing Trawler minigame teleport. I did read that there is a slight chance to fail with the Rusty Sword if it doesn't turn up anything. Please do not let that happen to us. Please. 100 coins and a Rusty Sword. It turned out to be a long sword, an iron long sword. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, there's an easy task finished. Awesome. Well, I'm glad we got that one done. Because that would have been a bit grim if we couldn't get that done. Perfect. All right. Uh, yep, he's kind of safe spotted there. Can't get to me. Let's chop this achy tree. 
Yes, okay, love that for us. Uh, I guess let's chop another one and get to level two woodcutting. Nice, two woodcutting, excellent. Three woodcutting, nice one. And that's a total level of 100, how good. Four woodcutting, woo! And there's five woodcutting, one level left, and then we'll have to stop because we need a steel axe. Oh my god, oh how lucky is that? A clue nest with a beginner clue in it. Oh my god, how poetic would this be if we get a black pickaxe from this? Holy shit, we're doing that. And once we actually burn it, there we go. And there's two fire making. What's our second step? Oh no. What can I do? Leather chaps, perfect. Okay, awesome. All right, let's go to the range shop. I'm pretty sure we can get them there. If not, we'll definitely be able to get leather chaps. Ah, okay, not from the range shop. Can we get it from here? We should be able to get it from somewhere. Ranging guild shop, oh my god. All right, well, and we can't make them till 18 crafting. Oh, trader crew members. Here we go. Buckets of sand and seaweed. We need that for crafting for level one to make molten glass. That is 20 XP. We also have to make leather gloves before we hit level three because we'll unlock our next thing at level three, but we'll do another one before we hit level two. And that is make a beer glass with our molten glass. Perfect. That is a... Level 2 crafting. Yep, now we have 9 XP left, so if we go make leather gloves, we will get to 3 crafting. Beautiful, there is 3 crafting. Members can now craft cups and polish buttons. Love that. Polish. Yes, 5 XP, nice. Alright, now we can craft some cups. And we're going to fire some cups after our game of fishing trawler. And there we go, there is our easy task in the Ardoin area for our diary. Okay, and we are here with our buckets of water and our clay. Minimal XP gained, but we do need the soft clay. How many unfired cups do you make per soft clay? What? So you gain XP from turning the soft clay into these unfired ones, and you gain XP from turning the unfired ones into the empty cups. Oh, cool. Oh, well, there you go. Look, we're learning new things all the time with this series. All right, let's do that again. That was bloody great. I'm just going to drop a couple buckets. See how much, like, one clay. Let's just go one. So one soft clay gives four unfired cups. Oh, what a yield! What a yield! That's great! Oh, we're about to hit our level then. Done! Four crafting! Members can now craft candle lanterns, and we will! Woohoo! Candle lanterns. 19 XP! Huge! Is this going to get us a level just straight away? Oh, please. Go on. Go on then. Oh, yes! Five crafting! Oh, no. Okay, now when you see birdhouses, you probably think, oh, no, now we have to get to Fossil Island. That is an issue, obviously, because we right now don't have access to Fossil Island. I do have a plan for how we can get to Fossil Island at a low level and we will do it. But that's not our issue with five crafting. Our issue is that we can't create the birdhouses because we need a clockwork. And to make the clockwork, we need eight crafting. We are basically gonna make gold rings then for five crafting instead. So our new goal is to obtain a gold bar. If only we could just telegrab this one like so many people have in the past. We can't telegrab, magic is locked away for a while. We can't do Crack the Clue 3 to get in there because we can't get some of the items required. We can't currently do mining because of the old black pickaxe debacle. And some other ways of getting gold bars like the Shade Catacombs chests and Eclectic Implings are locked behind, you guessed it, crafting. Currently our only hope to get a gold bar outside of any of these options is Combat, which will only be able to train until certain levels, Captain Arnav random events, and what we're going to go for in today's episode the Temporos Rewards Pool. So we set off on yet another fishing journey, starting with the Client of Karen quest to unlock the Piscarilius favor needed to catch fresh fish out of the barrels. We also caught our anchovies while in Port Piscarilius. Thank you very much. 16 fishing, nice. Okay, now we can catch mackerel, oysters, and caskets with a large net. You know, we've been on the move, we've been running around everywhere, doing quests, doing diary tasks, swapping between skills, 
traversing Gillinor. It actually was kind of nice though, just to just to sit back. There we go, and catch some fish. Twenty fishing. How absolutely iconic. Look where we are. This is great. Barbarian village, baby. Give us a trout. Come on. Trout straight off. Yes. Oh, that's an easy task in the Varrock area. Nice. You know what? I'm only going to catch one trout because I want to do cave fish. Because on the first account on Skill Mac, I got the Baronite handle, as you saw, and it was taken away from us by Jagex by banning me, falsely banning me. So I want that Baronite handle back on Skill Guided. Yeah, there we go. Raw cave fish. Nice. That just looks like a weird flattened trout. Yes, we got it. Woohoo! We got the Baronite handle. Well deserved. Well deserved. It's no longer my first collection log slot. It's a second one after our camo top. But, oh yes, I'm so glad we got it back. We did not deserve to have it taken away from us. And just coming up on 23 fishing and we'll be done with Below Ice Mountain again for a little bit. But we've got our Baronite handle now, so I cannot complain. 23, we can now try fishing for cod with a large net. And I thought I'd come back to the Isle of Souls because I've never really been here except for this account. And I saw that we have a spot to catch cod up on the beach here. There we go, 65 XP because we got a cod and a mackerel at the same time. And there we go, 25 fishing, nice. We can now try fishing for pike, and you better believe we will be. And here we go now, fishing in the River Lum in Lumbridge, back where it all started. And there's our first pike. Oh, and 60 experience per as well. Okay, so yeah, we ran out of fishing bait, so I'm gonna spend a whopping 300 coins on a fishing bait pack, unbelievable. And you know where I thought I could actually finish because, oh, I'm just, something about doing this, you know, you're always changing locations, going to a new place to fish or to, you know, level up or whatever. Why don't I just head over to Entrana for the first time? Can I do that? Because I think there is Pike on Entrana. Yes! Monk smiles at me, I can board. We're going to Entrana for the first time, baby. Oh boy, we can't carry any more fish. And we hit level 28 fishing, nice. Members can now try fishing for slimy eels. Oh well, I guess we better go do that. And you'll never guess where it takes me. Back in one of my favorite places, Cam Dozel to catch. There we go, raw slimy eels. This has been such a relaxing fishing session. I've been just, oh, this is so nice. We've been in and out of Cam Dozel a fair few times. We've been all over Gillinor, kind of. We're coming up on our first 30 skill. Not where I thought this episode was going to go, but yeah, this arty cape is going to take some doing. We are barely scratching the surface of where we need to go to get this. There's level 30 fishing. Now we can go fish salmon. Members can catch leckish fish and as one of the rare exceptions of the series because I'm still scared that going to Chambers of Zeric got me banned in episode one. We're gonna go to Lumbridge and do Salmon instead and skip out on Chambers of Zeric. Clearly Jagex, look, it might not have been the thing that they thought I was macroing going in and out of raids, but look, I'm too scared. It's my only explanation. I'm not restarting the account again. <laughs> Come on now. Ah, yes, and there we go. We've caught our first Salmon, and that is a medium task in the Lumbridge and Draenor area. Love that. So can we get something big from our mystery box? <laughs> yes, that's okay. Like, that's not what everyone normally wants. But you know what? We have five defense, and I hadn't bought any steel armor for it yet. So I needed a bit of steel armor, and perfect. We just got a steel plate body. No, and I just punched the spider. Get out of here. We're not training. And there we go 33 fishing. We are finished. Ah, oh, I got it. You gotta not click off after I get the level. Silly, silly me. But at 33, we can now use a small fishing net on giant frog spawn, as well as small fishing net on Tetra. We're going back to Cam Dozel. <laughs> I feel like the first two episodes have just been bulk Cam Dozel content, but <laughs> we're almost through all the Cam Dozel stuff for now. <laughs> Yes, another thing that we can get, there we go, 75 XP, that's not bad. Another thing that we can get from within the Lumbridge Swamp Caves, but I am saving the Swamp Caves for a bit later on. And you know that we're going to be catching that Tetra until we get to 
our next level of 34. No, that's a cave fish. There we go, Tetra, <laughs> 24. But these things we will be able to, once we get a cooking level up, take up to here to the altar and get a small amount of prayer XP. Oh shit, I literally just got a second Baronite handle. <laughs> that's awesome. That's a third Baronite handle. Nice, there we go. Fishing level is 34. Members can now wear the angler outfit. Oh no. Okay, so we are here at Port Cazard. We actually need um, bailing buckets, 14 coins. I don't know how many we're gonna need, so I'll just buy a few, because we are gonna gain fishing XP um, by finishing the game. It is very, very minimal. Um, but we've got until 35 fishing before our next unlock. Um, so we've got 2100 XP to work with. So hopefully we can get lucky and get an angler piece in that time. Ah uh, yes, now we don't have to gain XP in woodcutting. Until we hit 35 then, this is what we're going to be doing to gain fishing XP. This is going to be grim. <laughs> Maybe we need more bailing buckets. Oh yes, we actually got a piece in the first go! <laughs> yes! Oh, a simple, simple game. <laughs> and 400 fishing XP. That's actually decent. Oh, yes. All right. This is so good because when it came to outfits and things like that, when it comes to armor, when it comes to skilling outfits, everything like that, um, I know that it's going to be difficult to get full sets and get full sets of armor, especially later in the game. So having a single piece is fine with me. And to get the hat is so good. Yes, that looks awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. Yes. Yes, all right. Okay, we got less contribution that time because the water came in later. Let's see if we can get two. Let's go back to back. Oh my God, we went back to back. <laughs> yes. Yes, the angler top. So good. Oh, I accidentally banked it. Oh, look at us. We look so good. <laughs> oh, look at that green bar. 102 contribution. Nice. Still not as good as the first one we did, but we're still going to get like 350, 400-ish XP for this. Let's see if we can... Oh, if we go back to back to back, this is actually crazy. Oh my god, what? Have they... They've, they must have updated this or something. There's no way! We went back to back to back! <laughs> yes! That's so good! And our little moustache and our mullet. We look so good! 116 contribution. Okay, if we go back to back to back to back, I'm just going to assume this is Jagex being like, we're sorry we banned your first account. Please have an angler outfit on us. There's no way. There's no way. Okay, all right. It, it was bound to come to an end. <laughs> it was bound to come to an end, but uh, I'm just, I, I'm happy. We can just keep doing this until we get 35 fishing now. Another fishing trawler done. Can we get it this time? No, we cannot. But there we go. 35 fishing, baby. How good, let's see the most beautiful unlock we have so far. You can now try Harpooning Tuna. Yeah, sure, we will do one of those, but members can now fight the Temporos. That is gonna be super, super important. So I dove in a Temporos at level 35 fishing. Our next unlock is until level 38, so I had a little bit of wiggle room when it came to fishing XP, but I mainly wanted to get points through putting out fires. I could also repair the totem pole and not get construction XP because I haven't bought a house yet. I was planning on grinding Tempros for a long time for the reward caskets that are a 1 in 20 drop and they themselves contain a shitload of armor, jewelry and gems. But the most important thing for us right now are gold bars for crafting and easy clues to obtain our black pickaxe. There was an issue that I didn't expect which comes up in a few minutes. So I've got a few more methods to try to obtain the black pickaxe but it could potentially be out of our reach. But we'll tackle those next episode and I'm keen to see your comments below. Let's just get into the live comms. I was doing some runs with my Zaya Locked group Iron Man partner Midi who is playing on his Desert Locked Ultimate Iron Man. One fish. Oh, I'll let you do that. Oh yes, I just got a combat task. Master of Buckets. <laughs> there it is. Doubles up here. Yes, 36 fishing. Nice. Okay, no unlock message, meaning I can continue to fish. Yep, so I can repair it. Oh, and I've got a combat task for that. Nice, but no construction XP. 
Oh, well, yes. That, was, that strat was good. 37 Ooh. fishing as well. Love that. Ooh. Okay, so now I've got to be careful, though. I can't get another level up because I need to fish a tuna before I hit level 38. Yes, two permits. Yes, and one Tempros KC. Love that. Yes. Yeah, I've got two rewards. So before we attempt this anymore, I do want to just see what we get from our first two checks. Because, you know, we did get a trio, me, Glime, and Midi, aka Deslock, And I want to see what rewards mm -hmm. I get from that. Let's see. Two rewards. Come on. Oh, some spirit flakes. Yes, collection log. Oh, du wait, you get fishing XP from checking rewards? Oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck? What? That's crap. <laughs> oh, you get like 10, don't you? I didn't know that. <laughs> GZ uh, on the spirit flags, though. <laughs> Where does it say that on the wiki? Where does it say... Oh, yeah, 10 fishing XP per reward. That is the stupidest mechanic ever. What's so... Oh, well... I mean... The strat of farming Temporos for bolt gold bars and clues now is out the window. Digging in the bin. Ah, oh. damn it! Well, at least I got a little collection log from the Temporos. Now that was wonderful with Midi, aka Deslock, doing some Temporos. I guess we got uh, up to 38 fishing accidentally because of the rewards pool XP. But we're gonna fix that right now and get ourselves a tuna. Um. Yeah, but now, there we go. Oh, it's an easy task on the Karumja area too. Nice. There's our tuna. So that's our unlock. Yeah, let's just pretend we got it before getting 38 fishing. I'm sorry it won't happen again. Now I know about Temporos reward pool. That, though, is a huge problem. I think I've mentioned it enough in this episode by now, so it's probably pretty clear that the fact that mining is locked away from us behind the black pickaxe, and I actually don't have as much room to go grind out easy clues with combat as you might think. I did mention earlier in the episode that without gold bars as well, we are currently locked out of crafting, which prevents us getting our hunter up, which we could get easy clues that way. But even then, it's a limited amount because things like gourmet implings, young implings, we can only catch them for so long until we get up to a new level. Without going into full detail yet, I will cover it in a future episode, but our combat stats are going to be locked at pretty low levels, 15 and below, until we get more into crafting and mining. Um, and so there's not that much room there to grind out easy clues on things like men or thugs or, you know, whatever the best way to do it is. Um, so I'm going to try that in the start of the next episode to see if I get super lucky, get an easy clue, get absolutely spooned and uh, reprimanded for my ban on my first episode. But it's very, very unlikely. So let me know in the comments what you thought of today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. As I'm playing more of this account, I'm learning more about it. I did lots of planning. I knew these things were going to come up, but learning... A bit of extra things along the way too, and I hope you are as well, and that is the point of the series. So, leave a like if you did enjoy the video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the series. I'll see you next time.